YouTube, it's your boy Lazarin. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. I thank you guys um, <laughs> for um, supporting the live streams when I go live. I'm going to do another live commentary tonight. So make sure y'all uh, comment, like, and subscribe on the video. And come in the live stream, you know, uh, chop it up with me about some basketball. Make sure y'all do that, okay? So let's get right into the big news. Uh, the Mavericks and Knicks uh, just finalized the trade. Uh, what was shocking to me, um, Chris Stops Porzingis, um, Chris Stops Porzingis, Courtney Lee, Tim Hardaway Jr. goes to the Dallas Mavericks, and the New York Knicks will receive back DeAndre Jordan, um, Dennis Smith Jr., who they've been having problems with, and uh, Wes Matthews, who who been on the trading block for them for a long time. And like I say, I really like this deal by the uh, Dallas Mavericks. I think the Dallas Mavericks got better in this deal. If you guys ask me, Dallas Mavericks are not a bad team. Luka Adonchis by him uh, playing uh, way better than Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. got kind of got uh, jealous and got character issues off that. He didn't like the way they get. They went and got uh, Dennis Smith Jr. Uh, so Dennis Smith Jr. And then that's a great move. Also by the uh, New York Knicks because they get an established point guard. Really, they get an established point guard. I don't know if they're going to do with Frank Milikina. Dennis Smith Jr. still got some play in him. He's still athletic. He's, he needs to just practice on more of his shooting a little bit. Uh, Wes Matthews, his best year was against Portland pretty much when he took to his, uh, I think his Achilles or his ACL. Uh, he's a good 3 and D player. But like I said, DeAndre Jordan, I'm surprised. It was been speculation of him that he's had a, um, like I say, it's been speculation with him about being a bad teammate in the locker room and him uh, and Luka Doncic getting into it. So like I say, I think the Dallas Mavericks got the better of this deal. Like I say, they're still a good team. Uh, they're still in the, in the West. Like I say, I think they're only four games under 500. Getting Kristaps Porzingis. And uh, getting Courtney Lee, another veteran who can score, who can shoot the basketball, play great defense. And you get Tim Hardaway Jr., who's a good shooter. Uh, very streaky. Uh, like I say, I like this deal uh, by the Dallas Mavericks. I, I think the Dallas Mavericks won this trade. Um, uh, the Knicks were, four, were 10 and 40. Kristaps Porzingis is coming off of, uh, is coming off of uh, a torn ACL. Uh, really, I like this deal by the Dallas Mavericks, and I think this deal makes the Dallas Mavericks even better. But Chris Porzingis, I don't know his timeline. I don't know when he's coming back. But right now, um, the, I think the Dallas Mavericks. I get an edge to the Dallas Mavericks. But Dennis Smith Jr. him going to um, him going to New York gives him a fresh start. It gives him a, a chance to be the starting point guard. Really. Uh, they don't have an established point guard. You don't know how much faith they got in Emmanuel Moutier. Uh, you don't know. Uh, you don't know how much uh, faith they got in uh, Trey Burke. You, they don't have an established uh, point guard. So I think Dennis Smith Jr. going to New York. I think it's a good deal. I think it's good for Dennis Smith Jr. to get a fresh start and to, uh, like I say, get a fresh start and to, and you know, to show him. To show Dallas they made uh, a bad mistake on picking Luka Doncic, which is I don't think they did. They did not at all. Luka Doncic is a troop. He's a real deal. And I'm going to be looking tonight and seeing if he's going to get selected for the All-Star game. If he's going to be a reserve. But And then DeAndre Jordan, you know, been speculation of him going to the, uh, uh, getting, you know, locker room trouble with him and Luka Doncic. And uh, Wes Matthews, who they've been trying to trade two years a year, about a year ago, who's been in trade talk, so they get him up out of there. But I, I thought all is said and done, man. I think the Dallas Mavericks won this trade. I give the Dallas Mavericks this trade, man. Like I said, getting Courtney Lee, getting uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, and then you got Kristaps Porzingis, the best player in this uh, trade. Once, once you make a trade, the best player gives you the win. And Kristaps Porzingis give, is, is the best player. Even though he's coming off of ACL, he's still the best player in this trade. Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a streaky shooter. He can go off at any point of time in a game. And then you also got Courtney Lee, who's a good 3 and D player, who can also shoot the ball and make a big shot when you need him. So, like I say, I get his trade to the uh, Dallas Mavericks. And Ennis Cantor is going to be on his way up out of there soon. And the Knicks need a new fresh uh, shakeup. They, they need a shakeup. So, like I say, 
Um, I was surprised by DeAndre Jordan getting traded, but you know it was uh, rumors going on in the locker room. So, like I said, I give the Dallas Mavericks this uh, part of the deal. Like I said, so that's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about this trade? Again, the details is. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., Courtney Lee, and Kristaps Porzingis, the unicorn, going to the Dallas Mavericks. Um, the Knicks get back Dennis Smith Jr., uh, Court, Dennis Smith Jr., DeAndre Jordan, and Dennis, I'm keep saying Dennis Smith Jr., DeAndre Jordan, and Wes Matthews. That's who they get back. Comment, like, and subscribe, and be tuned. Stay tuned for the live commentary, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm out. Peace.